welcome to another Wolf Boy video. My name is Joe Wolf Boy. And in this video, just kind of wanted to talk to you guys. Last week I said that I was getting a server and it was possibly going to take a while. Well, it's here now. And sadly, uh, there was no um, power cables included. Like, And I actually found out that even though the server is in near mint condition, um, I can't put three and a half inch drives in there without buying like a $400 addition. So not gonna go uh, four and, uh, uh, three and a half inch drives like I originally intended um, because I thought, oh hey, it's all just universal. Well, it's not. Um, so, uh, and I guess that's probably another thing that you have noticed if you are here because you went to the Infinity Project website or my blog, they're down. And that's until I get my new router, possibly permanently. Um, because One and One, the company that I have done nothing but tout good things about, um, they don't give me enough options and stuff to be able to really do anything and it really really sucks because I really really wanted to stay with one and one but I can't because of them essentially fucking me over with um, they only allow you to and I'm gonna get into some possible technical stuff here um, they only allow you to have one a name server um, where that is your IP address. That's the IP address that you can designate. And GoDaddy, which the site, that's the site that I'm going to switch to, um, unless another company can come forward and say, hey, we offer cheaper than GoDaddy, which I don't believe that's possible, but actually, no, I take that back. I may be switching to Freenom, um, and I'll explain that in a little bit. So, essentially, um, what an A name is, is your IP address. The IP address where you're actually at the server is located. Um, and that helps with DNS lookup, um, or domain name server lookup. Now, I'm going to be using a free service that allows, I think it's like, uh, like a million lookups. Um, completely free of charge. And that's amazing. I love that they offer this service. Um, and I'm going to be hosting my email here. I'm going to be doing everything here. It's going to be nice. Um, but... Now, you guys actually just seen the, uh, the router unboxing. And that was the old router. I had to send that back because it was bricked. It... The firmware that they had loaded onto it didn't work properly. So, what I had to do was I went out and bought an EA6300 smart Wi Fi router. But the problem with that is, Linksys takes port 80 and hoards it. So, when I'm trying to access the website that I'm creating on port 80, it won't allow me to access it. And that's kind of really horrible because I need to access port 80, period, um, whenever I'm doing a website, and I'm sure that you guys know that. Um, but, so the server is kind of, um, it's literally just sitting in the, the stairwell, the stairwell for, um, the attic, just sitting there, powered off, unplugged not doing jack shit and it sucks because it's my baby like I really like this server but I also have to decide before I really get into this what I'm going to use as my uh, type 1 hypervisor because as I explained in my last video which I surprisingly got right it's a type 1 hypervisor um, I can use VMware for free, but the only catch is that you can only have one 
physical CPU. You can have as many logical CPUs as you want, but you can only have one physical one and a maximum of 32 gigs of RAM. That's a bummer, because I was thinking about selling the two ECC RAM sticks in there and getting regular RAM sticks, because those two RAM sticks, and it's only 8 gigs of ECC DDR3 RAM, but that 8 gigs of ECC DDR3 RAM could end up buying um, 16 or even 24 gigs of normal RAM, which I'm going to put in there. I don't believe in buying uh, error correction RAM. It's stupid. Um, and even people like Linus Tech and um, uh, uh, Eli the Computer Guy has said that in their personal servers, they... Eli, Eli said that he doesn't do it in his personal servers. However, um, Linus does it in his servers because the companies send it to him. That's the only reason that he has it in there. Like, he doesn't actually care that it's ECC. That doesn't make a difference to him. Um, so yeah, I guess that's the big thing um, about that. Uh, so the server... Right now, the website just points to my YouTube page, as you guys can tell if you're here. Um, and that's simply because that's the only thing right now that I actually have. Um, because one in one, I said, okay, hey, can you switch me over to a domain? Oh, absolutely. They dropped that shit and they don't even care. Um, and it's horrible that Thankfully, I had all my databases backed up, um, but another thing that I'm really, really, right now I'm struggling with is I can't find a good web control panel. Um, I've looked into a bunch, however, some of them just don't work. Um, others require an actual IP address that isn't um, th this place, and they're really confusing and their forms just aren't up to date with information and you can't find that information anywhere else. Um, I did find one, but it, like, the free plan doesn't offer WordPress plugin, you know, plug and play. Um, so I'm thinking that I'm definitely gonna have to go through and, um, install my own uh, version of WordPress simply because I won't be able to uh, be easily able to reinstall WordPress. But it's kind of all going to be useless if I switch to um, the Zen project, which is another uh, level one hypervisor. If I switch to them, everything that I've done, all the configuration files, all of that is gone. I can't use any of it because all the virtual machines are gone as well. So it's just like I'm in, uh, I think they call it a catch-20 or catch-22. I'm in that because it's just like a double-edged sword right now. If I go forward, I'm stabbing myself in the stomach. If I go backwards, I'm stabbing myself. And it's horrible because, like, I really want to get this server up and running, but there's no solution that allows me to run it locally and, like, get it set up locally um, and test with it locally and then change it later. Easily. Easily change it later. And I also don't know how I'm going to deal with um, the... Because another problem that I have is that infinityproject.co which is my uh, my current domain domain name for my company. It is thirty dollars a year to own, and Freenom won't allow me to transfer a .co or a .columbian. I didn't know that it was .columbian, um, but they won't allow me to transfer a .columbian address. So, essentially, right now, what I'm looking at is... Right now, 
my domain name, the Infinity Project's domain name, is costing me more in like four years than the server. And that's just, it's horrible. And sorry, it's not exactly more, it's a little bit less. The server was $268, I think. Um, but still, $260 for a domain name. And it was given to me for free over at one.com. And I left one because there was a bunch of shenanigans that I didn't like, that I didn't believe in. And I literally could not wait to get out of it. And then when I found one in one, I just kind of clang, I just clinged to them because they were the first people to kind of welcome me away from one. And I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds of domain hosting, um, but I think I'm going to stay with Freenom because uh, one in one will not allow me to uh, like for to renew wolfboytech.org they charge $15 for that domain name however Freenom will charge me $10 and renew it for a year so it's just like hell yeah I'll take that but the problem that I'm getting is with any company I go with if it doesn't allow me to have more than just one A name or triple A name, or sorry, quadruple A name, um, so IPv4 or IPv6 addresses, if it won't allow me to have more than one, I'm screwed. I can't do it. So, as far as, like, if you have kind of not watched the last episode, and because I haven't been able to upload the next episode, because um, the uh, my computer, I can't render. Uh, long story short, I showed you guys in the last one that I got new audio equipment, and it sounds really good. However, the problem with that is the audio I have to overlay in my linear video editor which, as you guys know, I use Corel. Well, on Rusty Red, it's so damn slow, I can't render it properly. Now, something that I have been thinking about doing is, um, like, using the Xeon in there to render. But it's not just the fact that it's rendering. It's the fact that I have to line up the audio correctly. And what pisses me off is that I line up the end audio and the beginning audio is out of sync. And I have no idea why. Like, logically, if you follow logic, there should be, like, a straight progression. It should go point A to point B. However, it doesn't. There's like clipping and overlapping audio that doesn't make sense, and it's just a headache. So I really, really don't know what I'm supposed to do there. So I'm gonna have to wait until I get Victor, which, as I mentioned last time, probably not gonna fucking happen until way later because of the government. And I may not even get Victor until um, late January or early February, because after I buy all the parts, I have to wait until they get here. And because my phone, that's another thing, my iPhone that has been my trusty number one driver, the lightning port's dying on it. And whenever I plug into it, it has like a 50-50 chance that it's gonna work. And sometimes it'll actually say that it's working and charging, and it'll decharge. And it's, I'm going to end up getting uh, the Xiaomi uh, uh, Mi 4i, 
if you don't know what that is, it's a phone made in India. It's, I really like it. It's really nice. It has an interface that looks like iOS. It's running Android, I think Lollipop. Can't remember. Don't really care. Um, but I'm going to get the 32 gig model, so that's uh, essentially $300 that I have to have my grandfather buy this phone for me. And it kills me to do this because if I have him buy this phone for me, I can't in my logic, I can't reasonably ask him to also put money out on the table for Victor. Especially since he also paid to get me to Norway. And it's just really, it's fucking hard, to be honest. It's really fucking hard. And I... And here's the boohoo part. I can't get a job because I'm a tech person, but I have no actual work skills, and I have no um, di diplomas or certifications. So, ha, that throws that out of the water of going and getting a decent job. I tried to work for a firm, and it was a like a private company, it was called Red Cup IT. I told you about this a while ago, I think. Um, I tried to work for him for a while, and the guy seemed reasonably nice, and then all of a sudden, I was doing my job by removing viruses off of people's computers. Whoever set up these computers had downloaded illegal versions of the software, which I could have easily called the FBI and reported that shit. Which, thinking about it, now I should have. Um, but the guy... I logged hours. I logged like... 10, 15 hours into this job. And he fucking didn't give me a penny for it. And it really sucks because I was doing my job and then he said, oh, well, I just don't think this is going to work out. And he started removing my privileges and didn't really tell me anything. And it really, really sucks that all of a sudden I'm kind of out in the cold going, hey, I thought we had a deal. And... He never paid me. Whatever. And it's horrible. So I'm never doing a, like, a fucking contract job again. And that cuts out like a bunch of money. And while my site's down, I can't accept any jobs. Because that's my main front. Since Square fucked me over. And... It's just like... It just really, really sucks. Because... I don't have a site now. I have a backup of, back up of it, thankfully. But... No site. I don't have any site to share stuff with you guys. I don't have a site to upload stuff to. Nothing. I have nothing. So, and essentially right now, there's $300 in there that's just sitting there. Just sitting there. Because I can't fucking use it. And that pisses me off. Because... I'm sitting here obviously talking to you, making videos, and while I'm doing this, I'm at that same time helpless to the fact that I've essentially just wasted $300. 
I mean, it's not going to be a waste in the long run. But right now, it's a waste. Because I'm not using it. So, uh, but I'm going to record this episode and I'm going to leave it pretty much raw. I'm obviously going to put in the intro, as you guys probably seen. Uh, but I'm also going to um, start streaming afterwards. Um, I kind of get got got off of my streaming schedule, so that's what's up with me. No site, no server, phones dying. Merry fucking Christmas to me, I guess. Yeah. I hope that you guys had a nice Christmas. I mean, that that's what this is, is a Christmas vlog, kind of. So I hope that you guys had a nice Christmas. Um, I hope that you guys are enjoying yourselves, having fun. In Ohio, there's no snow. So, you know, there's that. So, I really don't know what to say in these, because it's just like, after I go on my rant, um, I'm done. And I can't even link my website down below anymore. I'm probably going to end up doing it anyway, but it'll just link back to the channel page right now. So, um, actually there is something. Uh... I'm at a point where, sure, I can go with a .tk domain where it's free, but there's no email support. So I'm kind of at that point where I'm going to accept that and go with it. But should I, and here's where I'm going to leave this up to you guys. I'm going to leave a straw poll down below, and I'm going to check it next week before I do my vlog, if I remember correctly. Probably not going to remember, but I'm going to try. So, down in the straw, in the straw poll, tell me, should I switch my name completely? Not my channel name, but my company name. To Wolfboy Tech. Should I leave the Infinity Project kind of behind, um, but still be under the Infinity Project? Um, or should I try and deck it out and try and get a new domain? Um, whether that be with uh, .tk or whatever. Um, so tell me what you guys think below um, in the comments and in the straw polls. I read every single comment, so if you tell me something nice, critical, whatever, tell me below. Um, obviously, right now, the most important thing is me getting Victor, me getting a new phone, and me paying back my student loans. So, any donations will go to those three things. Those simple three things will, and also debt, but I kind of brown student loans into debt, so. Um, yeah, I'm leaving a PayPal donation link down below. It's a bit.ly link just so that it's easier to type, but if you guys want to, this is completely optional. Donate, please. I'm begging you, because I hate asking my family for money, and I've been poor my whole life, so I've had to do that a lot. Um, so if you guys can, I don't care if it's a dollar or whatnot. 
I will send you guys a thank you letter whenever you send it. It'll be completely drafted by me. It's not going to be just some shit already drafted letter. No. This is going to be your letter. Your letter. Like, this will be for you. For your donation. I'm going to thank you for your donation. Tell you what it's going for. In fact, this video kind of tells you what it's going for anyway. But, I do digress. I know that I've been going on for a while. So, I want to thank everyone who has stuck it out this far. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe as always. Because um, rating, liking this video helps me out a lot. And if you could share this video for some of your friends who may be willing to help me, that'd be awesome. Because sharing, it's just like the same as donating. If you share this video, it helps me out a lot. But also, subscribing helps too, because then you stay up to date. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching, again. Um, yeah. See ya. Yeah.